guys. Okay, don't mind my hair, it's a trash mess at the moment. So it's like, this isn't that happy with me though. What do I expect? I do color it way too much. <laughs> So I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this look, um, bronze, blowy, minus any highlighters. So yeah, day to day, hit a face that I use, or put on, um, I do to um, when I go step out in public and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's um, like a more updated advanced uh, video, which is my great on a rush face. This is my, um, I've all the time in the world, but I just want to keep a natural type of face. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so I'm starting it with my uh, moisturizer, Johnson's. Face care, this moisturized knee cream. I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Like a little bit on the neck as well. And then obviously blend that in. Foundation, as you all know from all past 10 videos, I have been using the uh, Max Factor Miracle Touch Liquid Illusion Foundation in Blush and Beige 55. So I'm, I'm having this part up there now. That's what the backing of it looks like and the front of it. I'll be using my um, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush Buffing Brush to obviously blend in the foundation. So I'm just going to start it on my face first. And then obviously get some blend in. Now while my foundation is still very tacky, I actually learned this next trick off um, Lauren Curtis. So while you still get your foundation and haven't set anything yet, go in and do your eyebrows because the more your eyebrows have like a little sticky face, the better the powder will sit, stick to it. So um, I'm going to be using my next Dura Brow Kit in the shade for Brunettes. So it just says um, a Brow Kit powder and then something in French. Powder, Perseless, I did not pronounce that last word right, but we got it pretty close. That's what that looks like, and that's very overexposed. And as you can see, I am very much running out of the wax. So I do dip my brow into the wax um, pot part, and then I go into the top round one, which is um, ideal for the um, inner half of your eyebrow. I just hold it little wispy strokes, but they go to the outer edge. I go back in. Oh, it's a little bit of hair on my lip. Yeah, 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 okay. A little strand of hair or fluff stuck in the foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into the wax pot part and then into the darker shade. And now I'm going to um, just edge in a um, tail for my brow. I've been lately, I've been liking the elong elongated tail. It just helps make the um, when doing eye makeup, make everything look longer. And I'm sure you know where I'm going with this, it's hard to explain. So I just casually feel it in like that. I can get my eyebrow done in like seconds, really. Not to be um, cocky or anything, but the more you get used to doing something, the easier it becomes. So that is one eyebrow now officially filled in. So I'm just going to do the other side the same way. I will have it sped up, but I will still have it so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Right, it's a little bit too thick if you like, you can just go with your finger and run along it just to help sharpen it up a bit and stick away the tail a bit. And that's it. Just, go back and just continue going through.
my eyebrows doing a little bit of a tweeze it's on, it's on the very edge of them and then you know, that moment when your eyebrow hair is going faster than your actual hair once I am completely satisfied with how my brows are looking I do take the spoolie that comes with or just any spoolie will do and I do just I only groom that's in the inner corner and then out so going up just to fog this bit out out so on this side On the inside, and then out, and, and then out. It's not looking terrible, so you can just switch it in with the fingers a bit. And then, don't be afraid to use your fingers a little bit, but obviously, you want to make sure you have clean hands like number one rule in beauty or anything. <laughs> Now that I'm completely happy with how my brows are looking, I can now set the rest of my face. So I'm going to go in with my Salve Translucidus Powder in Double Zero. And it's Artie's um, powder brush that I actually stopped in my sister's room. My other one, my red one one that I've been using a lot lately, is actually, um, the hair is moist of falling out of it, so it's clear and medium makeup. So um, I have to now just switch over to this one for now until I get my own. So this is what the consistency of the powder looks like. I'm going to dot, dot, dot this all over my face. It's a very loose, very fluffy brush, so it does spread quite far over the face. Because I have oily skin, um, I need to set my foundation. Otherwise, if I don't, I will look like a complete grease ball. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with um, some false lashes. Um, ignore the actual packaging. I just put my lashes in here to keep them from running away on me anytime soon. So I've actually been using the... um. Oh, well, I can pronounce that on the screen. I've been using the uh, Ardlua, and I can pronounce it eventually. Ardlua Katy Perry in Oh Honey. This is... This is what the actual lashes look like. They're kind of wispy and... I don't know really what's happening with the corner of them here. I think it must be just from any mascaras that I've put on it. But other than that, they are still very good, so I do use this for my eyes. I'm obviously going to put glue on them. The last bit that I come with, if I can open it. Come on. Oh, thank you. Alright, so I'll put a bit of glue on it. You also want to make sure that um, the old glue is um, removed from them. Otherwise, it's going to be too much build up and it's going to be too difficult to stick down to your lashes. Yes, this is the first I've done. I actually took it a bit, a bit longer than I hoped. And because sometimes the lashes like to stick down immediately. A lot of times I like to take the time, so from now on you can definitely see the difference like right away. I don't put mascara on before I put my lashes on, um, that's just personal preference, you can do it every suits you better. So I'm going to now do another set and I will be right back. So finally both of them are on, as you can see it looks like I just have the mascara on or, you know, lash extension, so they're both on setting and going nicely. I'm now going to, um, at this point actually, I'll, um, sometimes this will be, you know, my face going to go out the door. Other days that I know I have some time on my hands, I will go through and contour just to scrub my face a bit more. So I will show you how to do that now. Okay, for contouring, I have been using this, um, AC on tour pad that I actually got for my 23rd birthday for my former sister-in-law. So it does come with also highlighting shades. This is obviously the contouring shades, and this is the highlighting shades. I don't tend to use the highlighting shades as much as I do with the um, contouring shades, even though there's a lot less, less products in these pants, but there is an irony. So I'm going to be using this middle shade to be mostly um, sculpting my face, and then I'll be using my pull of bronzer, which um, my mum slash sister slash both got me for me when they went up for a trip to New York um, sometime last year, or the year before. I don't remember, they got me this whole bronzer, so like a 78 from New York. So I'm going to be using um, this powder brush again. So the very tip of it has a bit of product in it, so I'm just going to swipe it on my cheek like that. Bank it back into the pan, blow it a little bit, and then turn it to the other side, a little swipe, and we go back to blend it. And this brand does have great undertones, so um, 
it is good for one that, um, you know, obviously, um, that shadow look. But yeah, face or body naturally has, but it's, um, you know, when it has those, um, hollow areas. I do also take it through to my temples. And with my Hula bronzer, going hand with it. I'm going to just put this on my cheek to open up my um, country palette again, taking the middle shape, which is the brand that has the ground tones. I'm going to very gently take it under my jawline, just to show it up a bit, because I don't actually have a very chiseled jawline. Okay, so at this point I am basically just completely done with my face. You know, the step before the setting spray part. So now for the lips, I am just going to do the simple lip balm. This is the, um, I mentioned this one in my, my go to in a rush face. This is the Natsuya Tinted Lip Balm. It's basically just an Xmas present. Or Christmas present. And it is tinted, so... It gives a nice little tinted, um, appeal to it. So by now, if you don't know the technique that I use, I do actually spray my fix spray onto my powder brush and then I double lose my face. It just gives a much more direct and straight to the face um, uh, finish, just so you don't have to spray all over the place and you get it all over else. So. So that is it, that's what I'll do for my um, my plan of time in a day um, when I get ready for my face. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, be sure to comment, subscribe if you want to, um, it does help me out. Though I am forever appreciative of the subscribers that I have. Um, be sure to follow me on all my social medias, which will of course be um, not linked down below, but it will be listed down below. Um, yes, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. Um, and I'll see you for my future videos. Oh, it's such an open ending. <laughs>